Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is Mehdi. In today's video, I'll be reviewing 15 of my current most worn fragrances. Without any further ado, I want to start by House of Montal Chocolate Greedy. It is more about vanilla. It is not that promising in terms of chocolate, like the name Chocolate Greedy. You're gonna get more vanilla here. It smells like, uh, I would say, freshly baked cake, steaming cake with some sort of orange zesty jammy feel. For sure you're gonna get some chocolate notes at the background of the fragrance but it is not as promising as the name chocolate greedy at least to my nose less like seven to eight hours plus in terms of longevity and projection and CIG soft for first hour hour and a half maximum at number 14 out there by perfumes de marley it is another great mouth watering vanilla based fragrance smells slightly powdery because of amber i would say amber is second prominent note here after vanilla and some sort of spicy cardamom vibes at the top of the fragrance cardamom is not that prominent here for example like percival or Layton. it is just available gives a touch a kick to fragrance for first hour i would say and that the dried on amber sun shines more it is like woody synthetic slightly powdery with ton of vanilla let's say to this fragrance lasts on me solid 12 hours plus with two three hours great projection and siege at number 13, Valentino Born in Roma Intense. It is a modern and sexy fragrance. It is sweet, uh, semi unique, let's say. It has a familiar scent profile with some twists, let's say. It is nothing new, wow, here, but smells definitely sexy. Fruity at the top, and somehow there is some lavendery green notes at the bit fins, let's say, which is not available that much at the dry down of the fragrance. At the dry down, is like sweet and woody without that green feel it definitely gets compliments but it is not a compliment magnet i would say like six out of ten in terms of compliments less on me like seven to eight hours plus in terms of longevity with two hours of average projection and siege at number 12 could edp by giorgio armani it is very close to edt version i would say edt version is more crowded and busier compared to this one this one is like flatter version of that fragrance but definitely denser and bolder it is like longer lasting version of that fragrance without being that much crowded it smells sweet and somehow dark and i prefer it for night times definitely has that weight to it and it is pretty unique it smells different compared to like 90 percent of my collection and i like that suede feel at the base of the fragrance it is somehow like leathery suede i can get eight hours plus in terms of longevity with two hours of good projection and siege at number 11, Amouage Royal Tobacco, one of the best tobacco based fragrances right now in the market. If you are into tobacco notes, you're gonna get that dense and realistic tobacco note here. I really like that bossy, dense, mature tobacco atmosphere of this fragrance. Most of the tobacco based fragrances are like cherry jam. They didn't go after that vibe. I really appreciate that. It is totally a different tobacco based fragrance lasts on me like eight hours plus in terms of longevity with two hours of average projection and siege i was expecting something like 12 hours plus in terms of longevity because it has that potential but yeah it is like above average performing type of fragrance definitely not a beast mode fragrance it is like tobacco -y, ashy somehow peppery it has some sort of uh, amouage interlude man vibe but a touch is here it is not redundant to that fragrance at number 10, Cologne by Parfums de Molly, one of the best earthy fragrances, in my opinion. So, I don't know why the bottle is red. I would uh, prefer something gray or brownish. Would fit better or match better with this DNA, I believe, because it is earthy, synthetic, powerful and spicy. If you are not into this type of dry, synthetic and earthy fragrances, this fragrance is definitely not for you. It was... A big no for me at the first sniff but right now it is one of my most favorite fragrances in the entire my collection i can get 10 to 12 hours plus solid longevity with this one with two to three hours great projection and siege at number nine versace eros edp smells like 90 percent close to edt with some little differences we have here again that apple feel mint ambroxan and vanilla is available but we have here also added citruses and ambroxan and apple is toned down here let's say it is more about citruses at the beginning and mint is still shining at the background of the fragrance and also the sweetness in the edt version is like powdery sweetness here is like candied type of sweetness lasts on me eight hours plus in terms of longevity and i can get good two hours projection and siege at number eight, Givenchy Gentleman EDP, such a handsome, dressed up, bossy and mature fragrance. It is like powdery, very little sweet. 
I like sweetness is well balanced here. Leathery, very little spicy and boozy. Imagine Bentley Foreman Intense with Diorum Intense together. You can get both of those vibes. I prefer it for night times. Definitely smells dressed up and classy. I can get 7 hours plus in terms of longevity with this one and 2 hours average projection on CH. At number 7 from House of Montserrat, Oud Vani. Definitely a top 5 best Montserrat fragrances in my opinion. Highly underrated fragrance. I believe deserves more love and talk. It is a dark vanilla based fragrance. Smells burnt. It is not a pinkish powdery type of vanilla, a girlish type of vanilla. It is brown, smoky and masculine type of vanilla based fragrance, at least to my nose. And Oud is here very wearable, not animalic or medicinal, but definitely it is smoky. Less on me 12 hours plus in terms of longevity and projection and CRG is average and soft to be honest. It doesn't project that loud but gets the job done definitely. At number 6, Spice Bomb Infrared. What I have here is a well balanced and rounded tobacco spicy fragrance because it is not as weak as regular version or as bold or spicy as extreme version. It is like mixture of both of those fragrances in a polished way let's say. I really enjoy scent profile of this fragrance and to be honest I prefer it somehow over extreme and regular version. Definitely gets compliments also and lasts only 7 to 8 hours plus in terms of longevity with 2 hours of average projection and sillage. And somehow I can get some sort of ambroxany feel at the background at the dry down of the fragrance. Now we are at top 5 without any further ado Prada Loam Intense. Sadly discontinued but I have few backup bottles. One of my most favorite leathery fragrances. Smells very sexy. It is powdery, you can get that Dior Omi vibe or inspirations here, but this is totally another fragrance, I have to say. I can get Tonka at the base of the fragrance, it is not that much woody. Woods are like uh, a touch here, a sub note, like a sub note here. At the top we have powdery notes and some sort of peppery, spicy vibe. Lasts only like 12 hours plus in terms of longevity with 3 hours of solid projection and siege and gets crazy compliments. At number 4, Valentino Homo Intense. I would say another Dior Homo Intense inspired fragrance but if we have to compare it with for example Prada Homo Intense, these are not redundant to each other and just they share like 10% of similarity. That lipstick powdery vibe is available in both fragrances. Here is much more prominent, it is like powdery slightly leathery at the base it is a sweet fragrance and i can get some sort of chocolatey feel at the background of the fragrance especially at the dry down it is a solid lasting and complimenting fragrance gets more compliments compared to prada loam intense and diorum intense and it is safer again compared to both of those fragrances smells very dressed up and luxury lasts only 12 hours plus in terms of longevity with two to three hours good projection and siege at number three oud wood by tom ford I love this fragrance. This is like glass in a bottle, very mature and bossy. It is not a safe blind by worthy fragrance, but not exaggerated, too daring type of fragrance, I would say. It is a wearable, woody and slightly green fragrance. This is also a little bit sweet at the background. Wood is here like plasticky. I can get little cardamom vibe, especially at the opening of the fragrance. At the dry down gets a little bit more green and has some sort of soapy feel. At the background, less on me six to seven hours plus in terms of longevity and projection CRG is like soft or somehow below average for first hour, hour and a half. At number two, Le Mal Le Parfum, a 10 out of 10 masterpiece compliment monster fragrance from House of Jean-Paul Gaultier. I really enjoy this fragrance. It is not a juvenile fragrance at all. For example, like ultra male or too classy or outdated like regular version like Le Mal but has that backbone of Lemol here because it is herbal like that fragrance. Lavender is still prominent here, but we have here added powderiness and it is sweeter and way more modern compared to the regular version. It is definitely a top 10 most complimented fragrances in entire my collection. Has a strong character and smells very memorable. Lasts only 10 to 12 hours plus with 3 hours of great projection and siege. At number 1. From House of Dior, Dior Sauvage EDP. It is enough fresh for spring and summer and has enough weight for fall and winter, I have to say. A 10 out of 10, all occasion, all season type of fragrance. Smell citrusy, ambroxan is again here and that lavendery backbone is available with added some sort of soapiness compared to the regular Sauvage and it is slightly resiny. Last only 12 hours plus in terms of longevity with 2-3 hours, good projection and siege and you know, a compliment monster. Take care guys.